Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using this tea towel from Hobby Lobby and this cutting board from Walmart. I took Home Decor Wax by Folk Art and a sponge brush and sponged on the wax on the entire cutting board. And again, I got this at Walmart and I found it in the craft section. And I took this tea towel, which was from Hobby Lobby, and it was in with the fall decor. So it ended up being about $2. So I just cut out right around the little image on the towel. And then I went around and frayed all the edges, just pulling out some of the strings. Next, I took the piece that I had cut out and flipped it over, so I'm working with the back side of it. And I applied some Mod Podge to the back of it and did a generous layer because it is a thicker material. And I did not want to put it on the cutting board because I wanted to make sure just to get behind the towel. After I had the Mod Podge on the back of it, I placed it where I wanted it to go. Just eyeballed the placement, used my heating tool and then push down with some saran wrap to get out any wrinkles. Once I had that layer dry, I did an outer layer on top of the image of Mod Podge. Again, using my heating tool to dry that completely. Next, I took some twine that I got from Dollar Tree, left a little bit hanging, and then took the remainder of it and wrapped it around a bunch of times. I did not count. I just went with how I liked the look of it. And then I trimmed up, leaving excess, tied it really tight in a knot. And then I took some beads, which were also from Dollar Tree. I strung on two of them on one of the pieces of twine, knotted it a few times at the end of the bead, and then cut off the excess, and then did the same thing on the other piece of twine, but doing three beads. That's it for this project. Thank you guys so much for watching.